it's short by two's one year anniversary. And so I wanted to make a video showing everything that happened in that one year. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's see. Opens. You have been invited to dive into a short by two. Teleport to short by two. Absolutely, yes. Short by two is finally here. Let's check it out. Let's first check out the map. First of all, we have this table and chairs and just other decorations in the lobby. The actual lobby is like way bigger, like way, way, way bigger than Shark Bite 1. So here is the washed up store. So game passes, the flare gun and the O2 tank actually transfer over. So if, if you have those in Shark Bite 1, you'll get them for free in Shark Bite 2. So in the store, you can see the f uh, featured tab and here we have Be Beta Ducky which means this is an exclusive item okay sharks so we have the great white shark which you get for free next we have the great hammerhead which costs 1500 shark teeth. this one also very epic next is the short fin mako then we have the killer whale orca now this thing is 80,000 shark teeth the most expensive one but it's actually not the fastest as you can see so short fin mako has very little health and it's very small okay next weapons I'm not going to go in depth about each one right now. You can see every single one of them on your screen. Okay, and now the boats. So this is the sailboat. It's very slow and this it's the worst boat in the game. But there's also a boat builder where you can build your own boat basically. And for example, I can change the color, add assets, turrets, and that seems to be about it. There will be also upgrades and defense in the future. The first update brought us the combat boat, the tour boat, the bull shark, and finally the paintball gun. Golden Ducky also went off sale. Hi guys, a new update is dropping in 7 seconds, so let's see what we get. So shop refreshes in 3, 2, 1, let's see what happens. I think the update is out. Let's see what's new. Ooh, bull shark, paintball gun, combat boat. Yo! Okay, so first things first, it has this... What is this? This It's like x-ray. This is like very cool though. It looks real nice. I wanna hear the horn. It's pretty cool, I suppose. Yo, but you can like look for the shark with this. Come here, shark. No. So the top speed is 100. Come on, come on, come on. Let's kill it. Oh no. Okay, where is it? Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's chasing me, and this is very scary. I hope I can outrun this shark. Please, no! So, the combat boat is 21,000. Its speed is like... It's slower than the Marlin, but the size is better. So yeah, but it has like a turret or like a gun on it, and it looks very nice. Ooh, this looks nice. Ooh, it's so like responsive as well. So first of all, if it's let's say the top speed, it is a hundred and forty. That's actually very fast. So I think the Marlin is like one sixty-five or fi no, it's one fifty-five. Sorry. So 15 units lower than the Marlin. And we also have this gun, which is automatic. And I'm curious if how much damage it does. So this is 21,000 shark teeth, which is like, I think that's the second most expensive boat in the game. I'm really curious how much damage this gun does. Where's the shark? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Well, oh, it's a hammerhead. Okay, this boat is still somehow running. I, I want. Okay, here is the shark. I cannot reach it from here. No. Okay. Surely that just works, right? Surely. Yeah, it does quite a lot of damage actually, and it fires very fast. And the top speed of this boat is very good, and the shark has trouble catching up to me basically okay I finally got the paintball gun and I want to test it now so this thing is like 700 teeth 
it is automatic I think yes it is automatic which which is very good because all of the other guns aren't I'm pretty sure like the cheap ones and now I just wanna like go after the shark and like keep shooting it to see if this thing is like worth it let's see so I'm doing quite a lot of damage to it actually way better than the flint block Yeah, I think this one is actually pretty good. Okay, let's kill it. Come on, come on, come on. I just love chasing the shark and like shooting it. Yeah, but I'm doing quite a lot of damage. Like, like actually. This this gun is, is probably the best like budget gun you can get. I'm just gonna keep shooting it. Yeah, look how much damage I did to it in such a like short time. So all you have to do is get a fast boat and probably this gun or the Thompson and then you'll have the perfect grinding setup basically. Well yeah that's it. That was actually very fast. I will say this this gun right here, very good. Here's a clip of the bull shark. Overall it's slightly faster than the great white but has less health and is smaller. So the bull shark has 900 health. And the great white has a thousand health so a hundred health difference i mean it's only 500 teeth so if you want a slightly faster shark but less health i guess you could buy it but it looks very nice next up we're the submarines we got a military submarine as well as a smaller cheaper duck marine a very exciting update new shorebot submarines Alright, the new shortbread update. So, we have the military submarine, which costs 25,000, as well as the dock marine, which costs 3,000. And also, Great Hammerhead is 50% off. First, I'm gonna buy the dock marine. Okay, so we have the dock marine. I'm actually very excited to test this. Yo, this looks cool. Wait, so Q and E controls, just like in shortbread 1. Okay, that's nice. Ooh. So you can like actually explore the ground now. So the top speed is 95, which is slightly faster than the normal one, again. And so we have this bar as well as the circle. So with the E and Q controls, you actually control the bar. And then the red circle is basically where your boat is right now. Oh no, <laughs> this is so cool though. Yo, that's the military submarine. Okay, let's kill it. I really like this small submarine. So the cool thing with the submarines in this game is that they don't lose speed underwater when diving. I think it's time. I think it's time to buy the military submarine. Okay, so this is the military submarine. It looks awesome. So we have the same E and Q controls. Let's dive. Yo, look at this. So it has two like guns, like turrets. And each one of them does 50 damage apparently. Oh nice, a duck submarine as well. Okay, I wanna explore the military submarine. Okay, so we have two world maps. We have barrels and crates and stuff like that in the small room. And the coolest part is this right here. So this is like a hidden window. And you can sit here and like shoot the shark. Okay, I'm back in a new round. I always wanted a military submarine in shark bite and it finally happened. Okay, it's a hammerhead, so I don't think 125 is enough to outrun a hammerhead. So if you're the shark and the submarine is underwater, every 6 seconds you get a ping, like a yellow circle ping, with the submarine icon, so you know where the submarine is. So on water, it's also 125. I actually wanna go find the shark. And so yeah, it can actually fit through the pipe, as you can see, with no problem at all. That was cool. It's actually very fun to drive around and see all of the corals and like other seagrass, kelp. Yeah, so again, this thing is 25k. The good thing is, is that the duck marine is actually only 3000. So a lot of people can actually get the chance to try out the submarine. And I will say, the duck submarine, or like the duck marine, it's all is also very nice. It's very small and it has a very nice handling. Here's the size comparison. Yeah, so the handling actually feels super nice, and so does diving. On December 1st, Sharp 2 releases on Xbox.
Next up is the Christmas part 1 update. We got a lot of stuff including a new gift currency, a new sleigh 2022, the gingerbread steamboat, snowmobile, Christmas shark, gift artillery turret, and also 5 new boat paints, 3 of which could have been gotten from Santa. Alright, let's check it out. So first of all, the lobby looks sick. The reindeer is always here, then the Santa Jaws here, and we have all of these rewards which we can get for presents. And so the way you get presents is you collect them during the round. So as you can see there is a balloon there. So you have to pop the balloon and then you can claim the gift basically. Okay, let's see what the rewards are. So we have the 2022 sleigh, looks awesome. We have the snowflake boat skin as well as the Christmas knit boat skin. We have a Christmas shark, a junior bread steamboat, gift cannon as well as the snowmobile. So every round there is a chance that a Santa spawns and it can drop any of these bot skins. So this is the rarest one and this is the most common one. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. So you can shoot and then you can just claim them basically as you can see. And you don't have to get out of your boat. So this is basically the same concept as 2020 Christmas if you have played it. But again, you don't have to get out of your boat and you can just claim it like this. Which is very awesome by the way. So there are three types of gifts. There is the red one, the golden one, as well as the green one. The red one is one, green one is three, and then the gold one is ten. Okay, so this is the sleigh right here. It's only ten gifts, and you can get it in like a round very easily. And so the speed is a hundred, which to be honest for ten gifts, that's actually very good. The horn is the same as the previous years. So that's very awesome. So just like every other slate, this one is limited, but that's the first one in the game. Okay, as you can see I have 3.5k gifts, and that's enough to buy everything. So let's do it. I'm gonna put it on this boat right here. So let's scroll and here it is, so 50 gifts for the snowflake skin. Let's buy it. There we go. It looks pretty cool I guess, but I'm not gonna use it too much because I don't really like the white bit here. But it looks nice, especially from far away as you can see. Alright, and then the next one is the Christmas Knitted skin. And this one's also really nice, especially from far away as you can see. It's like a very Christmassy skin. So let's buy it. Okay, a hundred gifts down the drain. But yeah, and then we also have the Christmas 2020 called Ice Camel and then the Rare Tree Camel. So these gifts drop from Santa and you have to be the first one to collect them. So this is the rare one. I'll put a clip up right now of me getting it. It's actually very rare, rare. I think about well, like 10% or something like that. So yeah, if you see the red orb, just make sure to get it. The Christmas 2020 is probably my least favorite one, but it still looks nice. And then the Cola Ice Camel and the Rare Tree Camel look very cool. Yeah, there you can see the Santa. It ha he now has an icon, I guess that's a new thing. That's for the skins, and now let's buy the Christmas Shark. Might as well. It's just like this. So, apparently, it's just like the Great White, but just slightly faster. So it has a thousand health, it's the same size. It has some cool like Christmas lights and then it's faster. We're going to test that later in the video. Okay, next thing we can get is the gingerbread steamboat. So we can come to this elf and then speak to him. So he says some random stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes, I would like to buy it. And then it gives me it. Or just use the shop. We also have the gift cannon. Let's buy it. Sure. Alright, I'm gonna remove this one and then place this one. So the stats, this is like more of a launcher, I think. So yeah, let's place it like this. I know it doesn't look too good, but I think it's pretty functional. There we go. We bought it, nice. And then finally we have the snowmobile, which costs 2000, and that's a lot, okay? It took me about like 7 hours to grind for all of this. So yeah, if you're interested, let's buy it. Boom, let's go. Okay, let's use the gingerbread boat first. Let's look at its stats. So, it's very huge actually. So, bigger than the Canemaran. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's massive actually. This one's also pretty exciting because there aren't many big boats in this game. So yeah. Let's see. So it is very big, yeah. It has this like paddle thing and it has a cool sound as well. So we have three floors and the top speed is actually 102 for some reason. I thought it, it would be like 100 or 105, but I guess it's 102. It looks awesome, so this is 400 gifts, and it is not enough to outrun the shark, but I can still shoot it, as you can see. So it has seats here, here, and is that all? Yeah, but it has some few crates, and overall it looks very nice and Christmassy. So make sure to get this. It may not be the best boat in this game, but it looks cool. And imagine owning this and then like using it in summer when no one has this. Okay, so Santa, as you can see, is dropped the white orb, but I mean, most of them probably have it. The guy who got it. That's very cool. Okay, next up, let's do the snowmobile. Let's look at its stats. So it's slightly faster than the jet ski, and it's slightly bigger. But then the handling is pretty, it's basically the same. I'm guessing the top speed is like 135 or 140, oh yeah, 140. That's a lot, that's like the third, I think, fastest boat in the game. Oh yeah, it's tied with the combat boat, I think. It's a very, very nice handling, as you can see right here. It looks awesome, it really does. This thing is very good for collecting presents. And I think the jet ski is currently like bugged, so the handling is pretty bad. And this one is perfect. So, this thing has three seats while the jet ski has only two. That's very cool. Oh no, the sleigh. Also, yeah, I, I think if you like flip it somehow, you cannot flip it back. Just like the first game. Which I find really funny, by the way. <laughs> because that's not the case on like most boats here. I'm actually driving this thing in the trailer and it looks so cool. Next up, let's test the gift cannon. Right, let's try it on my Shark Destroyer 5000. This is actually a really cool combo. Yeah, so this is like a launcher on a boat. Just like the first game, I guess. I don't really like see it, but can it go underwater? I'm curious. So it shoots four gifts, I think. Yeah, it shoots four gifts at once. Each one of them do 25 damage. So if you hit all of them, that's 100 damage per shot. That's a lot. And I think this is actually better than every other launcher in the game. Besides the rocket launcher, I guess. So, yeah. Let's test it. I mean, it's mainly the normal turrets. Yeah, it cannot really shoot underwater. That's a shame. It's like an explosive launcher, so that's pretty cool. I'm probably not going to use this because the other medium cannon is just way better. So, yeah. It doesn't mean you should not get this. You obviously should. It's gonna become off sale in the future, and it's just a very cool thing to own. Okay, I'm finally the shark. This took a very long time, but there we go. So this is the Christmas shark, and I'm very excited to test it out, actually. Yo, that looks so cool. Oh my god. Wow. That's awesome. And it's actually faster than the normal Great White, so yeah. Let's attack some people. Let's go. This is so epic. This is so cool. And the fact that you can actually see the shark you're using Unlike the first game, that's even cooler. This is like an upgraded bull shark, basically. So many people on here. And this is how it looks at daytime. Also very cool. Boom. Yeah, that, this shark is cool. I like it. Okay, that's it. Christmas part 2. In this small update, we got a lot of Christmas assets, including the 2022 gift, which would open in the future. If I scroll down, you will be able to see that there are new items here. And also, this gift, 2022 gift, opens soon. And it also says open soon here. So basically, this will open and will not be available next year, I think. Alright, let's go. Logs. Candy cane. Coffee table. Okay, and finally, the gift. Okay, yeah, I bought everything.
Not long after this update, we also got a new speedometer. Christmas is over. The 2022 gift opened into the polar laser turret. I'm going to put it on this boat. If you have this gift right here, it's now open, but you can still use it. All right, let's now get to turrets. And here it is, polar rail turret. Oh, it like fits perfectly here. They have changed the turret counts. And so the big cannon and this gift turret are now a large turret. This laser turret is now medium and everything else is small. This means that you can finally put two turrets on a speedboat or six on a destroyer. Ooh, also new feature. So we can now see all of the off sale items in the store. This includes the golden ducky boat. And I'm very happy about this because we can finally see the stats of it. This is also the case with other off sale items. So for example assets and then paint as you can see right here. So here it is, right here. It looks awesome. It has a very cool sound effect. Okay, here is the shark. Let's see. Oh my god, I cannot aim. Okay, that did 40. I think. Yeah, that does 40. For 5k, that's not bad at all. And since you can combine this turret with basically every other one, this is gonna be OP, I can feel it. Right? Yay, that was so cool. Alright, we're back in a new round, and I just wanna just try hard to kill the shark with this thing. Okay, my aim is bad because I just joined, but let's see. Honestly, that's not bad since this is like an additional turret. You don't sacrifice any other turret if you put this on. Alright? on a few more shots there we go that was nice actually oh yeah another new thing that i added a couple of days ago is the low detail mode on desktop so if you have a slow device you can now use this low detail mode less than a week later we got a new board builder asset this one is for hitting a hundred thousand likes this update also brought us the wizard head sign which to this day is still unobtainable Hopefully in a year's time, we'll be able to own it. Next up is the party boat, which is based on the catamaran. It's a very cool boat, it has a dancing area where you dance, and it also has a lot of soundtracks built into it. Alright guys, so we have a new boat in Sharkbite 2. It is the party boat. It costs 10,000 teeth. There we go, we bought it. So looking at its stats, it seems like it's almost the same as the military submarine in speed. And it's about the same size as the combat boat, as you can see. Look at this dude. Hi. Ooh, here it is. Right here, the party boat. Alright, so I've joined Simon. And oh my god, this is so cool. What? Wait, what? I'm dancing. Oh my god, there's another one. Oh god, this is so cool. All of these LED lights and everything. And I think if you come here, your character will start dancing, as you can see. Oh yeah. Alright, the shark is right here. Simon is the shark, so that's funny. Well, I'm still dancing. So I actually think this boat is based on the catamaran right here. As you can see, it's very similar. I kind of want to check out the second floor, by the way. So we have two swimming pools, and then all of these speakers and stuff. I'm the DJ now. So this is basically the reason why this boat is 10k. You're basically paying for the fun. You're not gonna survive with this, or anything, but it's still a very fun boat. Alright, let's try talking about the top speed of this boat. It's actually 120, which is, to be honest, that's not bad. It's not really good for 10k, but overall it's not too bad. Again, this is like a fun boat to have. Right, let's hit, listen to the horn. It's MLG. About two months later, we got a cruise ship. Yes, the huge cruise ship. Which costed 100,000 teeth. This was a really cool boat. It had two lifeboats, it had a dancing floor, a shark radar, and much more. It was a really, really exciting update. Today we're going to have fun on Simon's cruise ship. Alright, we're joining Simon's cruise ship. Look at all of these people. This thing is massive. First off, we have two lifeboats here. We can push here to release, so basically just E. 
Here at the back we have a party dance floor. So basically the same as the party boat. That's awesome. And we also have these two paintings. We have two slides here, which are actually functional. So look at this. That's actually really cool. And then you fall into the pool. Yeah. So of course there's a swimming pool. So these lifeboats right here are not functional. If you look at its stats, it's basically twice as big as a submarine. You actually cannot go inside, so there's only this top floor and this part right here, I guess. There's benches so you can shoot, just like the Titanic in the first game. There's also a place there, I wanna go there. So this is just the normal small dinky motorboat. Let's go on the red slide. Or maybe not. <laughs> What's inside here? Oh, some more paintings. Two couches and that's basically it. And we also have seats here. This looks awesome. That's basically it, but this thing is massive, like actually insanely big. The frigate warship looks tiny compared to this. There's explosions here, that's cool. There's all the sharp white music. <laughs> that was funny. I'm finally driving this thing, and wow, it feels nice. Oh yeah, see, I saw the shark right there. Oh my god, there's so many sharks. Honestly, the ship seems to be very good. Because you can aim underwater pretty well. The shark is gonna bail flop us. Kinda. So I actually think this boat cannot unflip. So that's unfortunate. Oh my god. I guess that can happen. This is beautiful. Not long after, we got shark skins, and quite a lot of them, about 10 per shark. To get those skins, you had to buy chests, either for teeth or robux, and then you have a chance of unlocking a rare skin. At least it's all cosmetic and non-pay to win. Hi everyone, the new shark skins are finally available on Sharbay 2. To access these skins, we have to click on the shop icon. Here we have a new tab called skins. If we click on this, here we can see the preview of the selected shark. Here we can change the shark. For example, let's do the orca. And here we can see all of the skins for the orca. So each shark has its own specific skins. There are common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary shark skins. You can click on a skin and then preview it. Each shark has one legendary skin which is the gold skin, as you can see right here. So you may ask, how do you get those skins? Well guys, you get those skins from chests. We have the basic chest as well as the gold chest. You can see the outcomes of each chest on the right hand side. The gold chest is 2000 teeth or 350 robux and the basic one is 1000 teeth and 180 robux. However, you can only buy chests for teeth every 4 hours. So every 4 hours you can actually get 2 chests. Okay, let's open up and see what we get. We have this cool animation and... Oh my god, we got the... Oh my god! Oh my god, no way. I got the legendary skin on my first try. It's a 2% chance and it's for like the best shark ever. And you also get this message in the chat for any of the skins. Alright, so let's select our golden shark skin. There we go, that is such a flex, okay. And I'm also gonna select this one for the, my Mako. Alright, let's join a public server and test out our sharks. Oh my god, look at the like icon. It's actually the golden orca and I got it on my first try. What the heck? I'm even going to buy chance. Alright, let's hope I'm the shark. And now it's just a waiting game. 11 minutes later. Oh my god, this skin looks so cool in nighttime. Look at the red, the yellow, the orange. It looks so perfect. Awesome texture. I know I love this thing so much more moments later. Okay. I finally got shark Here we go. We select the orca. Are you ready guys for the golden orca? Oh, and it's also daytime even more perfect. All right, let's go Oh my god the golden orca. That's crazy the fact that I got this on my first attempt as well That's like actually insane. It's like a 2% chance of getting a legendary and also 20% chance of getting the golden orca specifically yeah, I got you, Simon. This thing is so cool, especially during the day. Got another guy. Let's go. The sailboat. I guess there's no one on it. Okay. Oh, here's the guy. And also a fishing boat. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. This was worth the 30 minute wait. Next up was the Easter update. This one brought us a lot of eggs. 
who would have guessed. We had a hidden egg, a golden egg and also a dangerous egg. The golden egg was obtainable in a new round called the Easter Rain and you had to claim it, after which it was supposed to be open in the next update. But here we are, almost half a year later and it's still not open. We also had the chocolate shark for 1000 teeth, which was another reskin of the great white. And also two skins. In this update a small change also happened to the purchase buttons, as you can see before and after. Hey guys, so we have a new easter update on shark by 2. This update includes a hidden egg, which is hidden somewhere on the map. The golden egg which you have to find during the new bonus round as well as the dangerous egg which is stored behind the shark on a rope just like in the 2019 Sharbite 1 easter update. We also have this new chocolate shark which costs 1000 teeth which has the same stats as the christmas shark. So as you can see as the shark I have a rope attached to me with an egg. This is actually the same as the 2019 Sharbite 1 easter update where you had to touch the egg to get it on your avatar and yeah as you can see there's the egg the golden egg which you have to get it it glows red so you can see it from far away and you cannot claim it as the shark sadly only one person per round can claim this we have the easter rain round the water and the clouds are pink and we also have eggs falling from the sky and if one of these eggs hits your boat then it will be destroyed so you have to be very very careful and the submarines are OP. So yeah, as you can see, one of the eggs hit my boat and yeah, I'm now stuck. The cool thing about these eggs is that they're from the old Roblox egg cons and these balloons are just a decoration. We have another Easter game mode and I'll try to get the golden egg. All right, and the eggs start falling. What is that? That's not an egg. All right, let's wait for the golden egg. Oh, here it is. I might be fast enough actually, yeah. This is my first attempt and let's claim it. And just like that we claimed it. Okay, let's go get the hidden egg as well. Okay, let's get this one actually. Okay, that one is done as well. And let's try to get the last one. Alright, let's claim the last egg. It's right over here in the loading menu thing. And all you have to do is to touch it. And there we go, we got this one as well. And we also get a badge, that's very cool. And I guess just like that, I unlocked every single egg in one round. We have some cool lobby decorations here, and an egg house or something, that's pretty cool. Some more eggs here, and basically everywhere else. Let's see what we got. So this one, the flaming egg, was for the hidden egg, right over here. It has this cool fire effect, and that's awesome. This is the golden egg. Which we claimed and it looks pretty cool with like half crown thing. And it, this one has a sparkly effect. And the cool thing about this golden egg is that it will open soon. Just like this gift opened over here. And we also have three new pins. So this one is for the, for the dangerous egg. I do like it. And we have two more skins which are purchasable for teeth. This is Easter Zag and the Easter Wipes. Let's get both of them. One and two and just like that we completed this update with all of these effects and everything this boat looks really cool all right so i'm the shark and i chose the chocolate shark it spins weirdly in this menu but i think it's fine all right let's see it and wow that looks pretty good actually and so we have this egg obviously the actual ears are backwards so it looks a bit weird but other than that it's actually pretty cool as you can see it also has those chocolate sprinkles and i i think that makes it even cooler so this is basically a christmas shark i think it's actually way better than the bull shark so that's good and this is 1000 teeth only so 500 more than the bull shark but 500 less than the hammerhead look at all of these eggs that's so cool i wonder if the golden one has dropped or not i don't actually think so okay so someone's boat got broken a couple of weeks later we got a new rank system. There was already XP in the game and so they just added a leveling system. With no rewards, for now. And also chests in the daily rewards menu. Exactly a month later the max rank became 200. 
requiring around 28 million XP. And to this day, there are no legit players who are ranked 200, but it will probably happen in a year's time. Next up was a sponsored event, which featured a map redesign, and there were basically pets, which gave you special abilities, which you had to use against the shark. After which you got rewards, like a new pink skin, the statue, a new large laser turret, and in this update, sharks had 20 to 50% more health, and also the flintlock became Came the laser crossbow. A couple of small balancing changes kept happening over the next few days. But there was also a small part 2 of this update, which featured a new light bike and also a new pink shark. In this update, we also got new mobile weapon controls, which is very cool. Also, around this time, they added a friend invite button, which was removed after a few days and was released a couple of months later, once again. Next up, on July 12th, the update was reversed. And the hovering sloop in the lobby is now swapped with the ducky boat. And so most of the sponsored items went off sale, but some of them have remained on sale. This update also brought us a scroll bar in the shark selection menu. Well, first things first, as you can see, there is now a duck boat in the lobby. When Nemona came out, the sloop in the lobby was removed, and now it's back in the form of the ducky boat. Anyways, on this board, we have summer updates in development, July 12th. But after my previous video, there was a few updates. Those are this hover bike, as well as this Nemona shark, which was available for 200 teeth, but it is now off sale. However, I assume most of you have got it already. I just couldn't make a video when it first came out. So by the stats, it looks like this shark has a little bit more health than this Christmas shark and the chocolate shark, and also more than the great white, apparently. There's also this laser crossbow which was previously available for free. So it basically replaced the flintlock but now it's back and it's buffed and it is 5000. Alright so let's buy and select the laser crossbow. I also selected the Nemona shark and we're going to use the horror bike. Whilst we're waiting I want to show you some other small updates. So first things first the Nemona pink skin is now off sale and obviously the statue is now off sale as well. Alright the round is starting and Simon actually joined us. Which is pretty exciting. So here is the hover bike. It looks really cool. It has this nameplate with nothing on it. And as you can see it's hovering on water. So let's drive it. It actually has a really fast acceleration it seems like. The backwards top speed is 104. And forwards it's 107. Which makes sense. Actually no it seems like it's 104 as well. I don't think we had anything like this before. Like yeah, it's like a small bike, which is kind of similar to a jet ski for example, or the snowmobile. But I mean the hovering ability is just something else. And I really enjoy that. It's only 850 teeth it seems like. It has the best agility in the whole game. And it has pretty good stats for its price. Oh my god, here's the shark. Let's test the crossbow. So it does 10 damage. And it has 30 bullets. It seems to be pretty good. It has a big recoil, which is not good, but okay. Someone's helping me. Oh my god, I'm actually the shark. That's really exciting. Alright, another new small update. We now have this scroll bar on the shark menu selection screen, basically. It doesn't quite work properly as of right now, but I'm sure it's gonna be fixed in the future. Anyways, here's the Nemona shark. I have selected it, and let's check it out. Alright, here it is. It's, it's pink, obviously. It has those like eyes which is kind of funny. It looks really cool though. It's basically like an our grid white skin, but not like an actual skin. Oh my god, here's the boat. Oh my god, that's Simon. Did I go for him? Like, yeah, okay, let's go. Mirror. Hi Simon. <laughs> okay. Anyways, there is another duck boat. Let's go. Another one with two people on it. Oh yeah, that was a pretty cool jump. Not perfect, but it was pretty cool. And yeah, now let's test the new laser crossbow on an AFK shark. Alright, so it's about 40 DPS per second, which is twice as slow as the shark blaster, but that's expected considering its price. It's a very cool looking gun, but it's definitely not the best. And it's also somewhat expensive, so I probably wouldn't recommend getting it, unless you want to buy everything in the game. On July 21st, we got the Wildfire, which is the new fastest boat in the game. It's actually the recreation of the Spectre from the first game. It was really cool but very expensive. This update also brought us the dog head and the tail UGC items, which can be purchased from the Roblox avatar shop. 
Hey, it's me. Today I'm a dog. Basically, there's a new update on Fortnite 2. Yeah, basically the reason why I have this skin equipped is because there is new wearable UGC by Abracadabra. And so yeah, here we go. There's the dog head and also the dog tail. Fun fact, this is actually my specific avatar. So yes, that's literally me. Alright, so the July 21st update, we have this new wildfire boat, the new UGC which I just talked about, and also the store update countdown is back. So if we go to the store menu, as you can see, here is the new stuff. So again, the shop refreshes are back, which is really exciting. We will have a new shop by 2 update every 2 weeks on Friday. Okay, before we talk about the wildfire, let's also mention this. So the shop in Mako is actually 20% off right now now and it's 3600 teeth which i mean is really cheap for a mako but i mean i guess this new boat is the fastest boat in the game yes even faster than the marlin but it's 36,000 teeth just twice the amount of the marlin and as you can see the speed difference isn't that big I'm going to join a public server and we're going to test this boat all right so the round is starting and look at this boat it looks so beautiful I'm actually going to do a free cam shot of this boat because it looks so cool. So basically we have this fire at the front and it's like a white and orange boat with a bracadabra written on the side and also the raptor spoiler from the first game. Right so we can kind of see a bit of the engine which is also really cool. Oh my god look at this. I mean this is the coolest boat in the game. I mean I, I don't know. This actually just might be my favorite boat of all time. Okay, so we have fire here, two fire particles, and even more here. I mean, this is just the coolest thing ever. So as you can see, the top speed is 160. Of course, more when you turn, but like the flat speed is 160. This boat also has a really cool horn. At the start of August, we got a very exciting update, which was the Megalodon. A new shark cage boat, higher ranked servers, and also improved XP system, which means you can now get XP way faster. Which is a very cool quality of life addition. Oh my god, guys, we have a Megalodon. I'm gonna check it out, where is it? Oh my god. Yo, well, look at these stats. So it's faster, it's just better than the Orca overall. I'm guessing the only shark that's faster than this is the Mako? Yeah? Okay. The shark cage boat. Uh, the speed, I don't know what to compare it to, like this. Okay, so it's slower, but more expensive, but I mean, that's fine, I guess. So this is just like Shark Bite 1, that's cool. Okay, so it's basically like better than the tugboat, sure. I actually want to see what's new in the boat builder. There must be something new because the game actually reached 200,000 likes. Let's see, paint, nothing in assets, yes, there we go. So we have this docky skin. Okay, it's pretty cool. Okay, so the high rank servers. Okay, there's already one. Okay, here it is, the shark cage boat. So this is basically a remake of the research boat from the first game. And I think it's really exciting. Alright, look at this. Actually, I'm gonna move because the shark will target me probably. I mean, it's a new boat after all. Now let's get a few cinematic shots of this boat. So basically, it's not too small but also not too big either. It features the Shark by 2 logos. Okay, quite a few seats here. And of course the cage. It has one seat and you can actually control it through these buttons right here. Or if you get inside, there is also a new UI. Just like in the first game, I think. So. Okay, let's first test the top speed and then we'll test the cage separately. So the top speed is 110. Alright, let's test the cage. So yeah, there's E for up and then E for down, obviously. Let's wait for it to come up, yep. Let's sit inside. There we go. And now we can control this ourselves as well. Now I'm gonna have the Megalodon. Oh my god, this thing is huge. This thing is massive. Look at this. Yes. Oh yeah. Another jet ski guy. Right here. Okay, so I think this thing has like 2000 plus health. Which is a lot. Where? Come on. Sure I can get a jet ski, right? Oh my god. 
This thing is massive. I love the animation of it. Okay, so the reason it's sometimes faster than the Mako is because this shark's boost is 20% better than the other shark's boost. So basically it's very fast when boosting. And it also jumps really high. Okay, I'm tired of this noob server. Let's go to the pro servers. Okay, so basically, right, it's called actually a high rank server, but it's basically the same thing. So you can either create a new server or join an existing one made by someone else. I'm pretty sure Oppo is in this one right now. So let's join. Oh my god, the thumbnail. That looks cool. Okay, so all of these guys are level 50 and plus. Besides Oppo, I think. Oh my god, what is going on here? That's crazy. Okay, one thing I want to do. See that skin? Let's equip it. It's... Code is 200k. There we go. I'm gonna add it to this boat right here. Because why not? And let's see it. So level 50 is actually 200,000 XP, like in total. Two weeks after, we got a new budget speedboat, which was the Viper speedboat. I really like the design of it, and it's not too expensive. So again, it's a speedboat, it's 6,000 teeth. I think that's good. So it's basically like in between the Duck Marine and the Jet Ski, because there was a big gap here apparently. Here it is, the Viper speedboat. So let's compare it to the Marlin first. Okay, so it's basically a smaller and a slower Marlin. How does it compare to the Jet Ski? Yeah, so... Jet ski is slightly better. Alright, so let's buy it. Let's join a public server and let's check it out. There we go. Let's go. Oh my god, there's new music. It's like a remix of the old one. Anyways, here it is. Oh my god. This is so beautiful. Wow. Let's get a free cam shot, obviously. So, yeah, I mean, it's like a cool green and black boat with many seats and also this neon strip, which looks really cool the standard dashboard and yeah it's not a particularly big boat but i think it's fine i mean it's a speedboat after all all right so let's check its top speed the acceleration seems to be pretty good and the top speed is 130 i think it's a budget boat but if you compare it to any of these other boats which are cheaper than it it just destroys them it's really good i don't remember what the top speed of the jet ski is but it seems to be very close so maybe 135 let me know in the comments i definitely like the name of this boat it just fits it really well the handling is really nice wow i'm just gonna shoot the shark and hope i don't die it's actually extraction which is pretty cool where did the shark oh okay Okay, well that was actually pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie. Just gonna keep shooting the shark. Let's go. That should almost be it. Nice. A week after that we got a very exciting update featuring two tanks and also a new turret. The first thing was the pyro tank and it was purchasable. It had two turrets and it's pretty nice but I think the damage is a bit too low. Then we had the Hydro Tank and Hydro Cannon Turret, which were special items for owners of Shark 500 Nerf Gun in real life. And so they finally added those items. Right as I joined, I see this screen. Congratulations, you have been awarded the Hydro Tank and the Hydro Cannon Turret for redeeming the, a Shark 500 code. But that's not it. That's not even it. There we go, we have the Pyro Tank as well. 19,000 teeth. And there we go, we have the Pyro Tank. Also, the Hydro Tank, the Shark 500 exclusive. So the Shark 500 is actually a Nerf gun, the water gun, the first one, basically. So if you bought it and you redeemed the code, you get this Hydro Tank. And also, this, where is it? There we go, the Hydro Cannon. Alright, so this was promised a long, long time ago and it's finally out. So this is a medium turret, same as this one. Alright, so there's the pirate tank, and this is a combat boat, so the combat boat is just better in everything. However, this has two turrets, well, I guess one cannon and a turret. Okay, that's very exciting, but there we also have the hydro tank from Sharbite 2. Basically, the hydro tank and the pirate tank are just essentially the same, just... This one is a bit slower and has a single turret instead of a medium. And maybe the cannon's different, I don't know, we'll test it out. Oh my god, there we go, the pyro tank and the hydro tank. Wow, this thing looks cool with the exhaust system and everything. Red Shark by 2 logo, but this is so cool. 
Let me get a free cam shot. So I guess the turrets are gonna move, but oh my god, this is so, so exciting. Alright, so here it is. It has a camo texture, it seems like. Also a red Shard by 2 logo. This beautiful cannon. It has a double turret and a lot of seats. So so I think this is like a rematched Hydro tank from Shard by 1. But it's on sale, so that's always good. Anyways, the Shark is almost dead because there are like a million leaderboard players here. Uh, and oh my god, that's a lot of tanks. Okay, the top speed is 125. That's good. Oh my god, we have a hydro tank. Let's go. All right, let's go with the hydro tank now. Ooh, there we go. So, I think the design is literally identical to the Shorebite one. Okay, so we have double turrets. Again, just the same design as Shorebite one. I think I even made a video on the Shorebite one one when it first came out. Anyways, a lot of seats. I guess there's nothing really here, just the dashboard. And yeah, that's the tank. I wanna test the turret. Uh, so this kinda has a similar... Just I think it's literally the same as Strawbite 1. Like, the feeling of it. Not really, but like, kind of. I can definitely see the similarity. Like, when I flip, I can just easily unflip, just like the first game. So yeah, it's definitely an inspiration. And there we go, the Hydro Cannon. Nerf Shark 500 exclusive. I actually really like how it looks. This looks pretty small, but it's actually medium. So yeah, it's very nice with Shark by 2 logos and this neon base, basically. And yeah, it got a nice texture. Now I actually want to test it in a round. Okay, let's test the turret. So again, it's essentially free. Once you buy the toy, so you aren't paying any tea for it. So, okay, let's test it just... Okay, so that did 59. 59 damage, that's that's a lot actually. So this is actually an automatic gun, as you can see. So I'm just holding down my mouse button, and it's just shooting. It does, I think, 59 damage, which is very good, by the way. Hey, that's a hy hydro tank. Is that Simon? Yes, that's Simon. A week after that, we got a very cool UGC chain event. In this update, we could get 3 UGC items. So the blue chain, the silver chain, and finally the gold chain. The blue one was available for 10 wins, the silver for 40, and then the gold chain, the holy grail, was available for 20 MVPs and 200 wins. I was actually the first legit player to get it. There it is, I think I got it. Hey everyone, so if you haven't heard the news yet, there are three juicy items in Shard by 2. These three chains. So basically, this is the blue one. To get it, you need to join Shard by 2 and win 10 times. This one is 40 times. This one is 200 and also 20 MVPs. As you might see, I already have the gold one. In fact, I have the serial number 3, which is the first legit person to get it. However, I couldn't have done it without other grinders. I'll try putting them on the screen right now. This was really fun. So, I haven't played the game like that. Like, grinded for like hours on end. In a long, long time. So, it was definitely refreshing, but at the same time, it was very tiring. Just doing the whole thing, just every single time. At night, but I'm not complaining. It was really fun and it's it's gonna remain a very very cool memory. Just like the 21 Christmas update. Alright, so basically let me explain how we got it. As soon as the event started, we joined a server with a bunch of grinders and friends. And we basically played for like 5.5 hours straight. Just repeatedly killing the shark over and over and over again. And eventually we were 100 away. Then 50 away, 25, 10, 5, and then finally 1. I should go 2 rounds earlier than everyone else. And so when I was like about 15 away, a hacker got the second serial. So the first serial was actually a Bracadabra Studios one, which is basically the dev's group holder account. They basically gave it to themselves to discourage hackers from getting it, being like the first to get it. It didn't fully work, one guy got number two, but honestly, I'm not that mad. It was definitely very exhausting, especially going into it at like 3 and 4 a.m. But you know, I have now woken up and I'm feeling fine. So the reason I went to get top 5, well specifically number 3 or 2, was because I remember in 2021, the Christmas update, I was actually the third ever person to get the Golden Shark, which also took like 6 hours of just non-stop grinding. And yeah, so I wanted to get a really cool serial for all of them. I tried getting top 100 of the blue one, we started a few minutes late and I guess it was just unlucky. We basically tried getting every single grinder into one server, which, which was proven to be pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. 
a couple of weeks after that we got a new medium turret and this one is finally purchasable so it is the plasma turret it shoots firebolts and it's a very cool gun this update also brought back the friend invite rewards this time it was a new strawberry skin which was available after you invited five friends to the server right so let's check it out here we have a new button called rewards let's click it friend invite rewards okay so plus 200 teeth per friend joined and you basically get a new strawberry skin if you invite five people we'll see how that works i don't have any friends on right now so that's that all right so the first thing you will notice is that the frigate warship has been nerfed and now you can only put one medium turret on your boat and so what that means is that if you had two medium turrets on your boat then all of the turrets are just gone just completely gone i had like seven turrets right here and I have to put them there again. So that's definitely annoying, but here it is, the new plasma turret, and it's actually a medium. So there's finally a medium purchasable turret in the game. So looking by its stats, it seems to be pretty good. So let's compare it to the hydro cannon. Yeah, so it's like uh, a completely different medium turret. I think this is a short range weapon, which is pretty nice. And so let's buy it. There we go. I think I'm just gonna put it on this boat without any other turrets and just test it out. The design of this turret is actually really nice. It's like a dark grey turret. Kind of reminds me of the submarine turrets, not gonna lie. But yeah, it's a medium turret, whatever this is. That's that's really nice. I'm actually really excited to test this one out. Alright, but since it's a medium, I'm actually gonna put it on my speedboat. I'm gonna remove that turret and just... Just I guess put it here, I don't know. I'm also gonna change the paint to the docks because I've never used it and I think it looks nice with the red carpets. And yeah, let's join the public server and test it out. Alright, I'm gonna try inviting my ult. So let's invite, there we go, invite it. And so apparently on my phone now, there we go, invite from me. So I'm joining, let's see what happens. Alright, here's the guy, here's my ult and let's see. Where is my invite? Alright, there we go, I think I got it. Yep, 150, but it's actually 200. So that UI just is wrong. Let's check it. Yes, there we go. We need to do that four more times. Yo, that's so sick! Okay, it's Golden Mako. Oh no. But the turret is so sick. 6.5k for this. That's crazy. And I also think they moved this UI up. I don't know. Maybe just me. I swear it wasn't like that before. And also something else just feels different. After this update. I don't know what. It's just like... The map looks different. Maybe the lighting. I don't know. It's like fireballs or something. Look at that. So... I think it does quite a bit of damage okay it's chasing me i don't know it doesn't seem to do that much damage maybe it does i think the fire rate is really high and the damage is really low but okay so we can just claim it now so here is the skin let's claim it let's claim it there we go strawberry skin added i guess let's check it out there we go that looks pretty cool actually okay looking up close this looks really cool it's like a red with a green accent skin it looks kind of funny on a destroyer but i mean it looks nice and then the next day part two of this update in which we got 19 new board builder items including an rgb toilet which cost an absurd amount of teeth and the people who ask for it don't even like it the rgb toilet is a complete meme it has fart sound effects and it's just it's just absurd there we go 20 new board builder items added let's just go and check them out so as you know, I have every old asset, so if I scroll down, there should be 20 new ones. So, there we go. Okay, so the cheapest one is the box. I'm actually gonna buy all of them. Alright, so we have a box. That's cool, I guess. I'm just gonna buy all of them and then we'll review them, I guess. Alright, we have two more items. Oh my god, the RGB toilet. Yes, the RGB toilet, which costs 100,000 teeth. For what? For a toilet? Okay, fine. Same price as a cruise ship. So in the board builder, it doesn't actually change colors. But if you equip it, if you can afford it, it does change colors. And then there's also this thingy, the toilet beam. Look at this, this is really cool. Here is every new item. Alright, let's start with this toilet beam. It looks pretty cool, so it's like 
the same thing as the oil rig toilet, basically. But you can put like 40 of them on your boat. I mean, it looks kind of cool. This thing moves and yeah, it's pretty nice. I also don't think you can get the batch if you kill the shark on this toilet. Okay, next up we have this wiper boat seats, I guess. I don't know what they're called, like green seats probably. The small one and the double one. I mean, they look nice, just like on the wiper boat. We had like a couple of different colors and now the green one as well. That's really cool. So we have a box, yeah. Uh, not a flying box, but a box. I mean, it's a box. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Alright, we now have these some beds. A red one, a blue one, and I think this is a wooden one. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, we have a kitchen table. A couple of colors, actually. All of them feature fruits. And I'm not gonna name every fruit, okay? A white one, that's pretty nice. Also a red one, this one's also nice. I think out of these, I like the white one the best. I don't know. Okay, so there's this bench. I think it's just called bench. I don't know, I don't like dark wood, just generally, IRL. But, I mean, it looks pretty nice. Okay, we have a red oven, <laughs> which is pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, who puts a red oven on their boat? Same with the blue one. And, I mean, I guess a white one is fine. They could have made a black one as well. Anyways, we have the hammock, which I think is the best item in this update. Well, maybe after the toilet, right. Anyways, you can only buy one of these. And I think the actual hammock moves, so that's very nice. Okay, and I guess this is like the final set of items, yeah. So, we have new fridges with fan art on them. Yeah, fan art by cool people in the community. And yeah, they're very nice. And yeah, this is basically everything added in the last two days. Just a small recap, so we have this strawberry skin for inviting five friends to a server. This new plasma turret and all of these assets, so the toilet beam, the hammock, all of these new viper boat seats, some beds, kitchen tables, ovens. So here it is, the RGB toilet in a round. So yeah, as you can see, it changes colors. It has a black outline. It also has some sound effects. Let's just wait. Yeah. Yeah, there's actually two different types of sound effects. And this thing is a hundred thousand T. The same as a cruise ship. Yeah, that's crazy. Next up was a new boat called the Lifeboat. Its handling is very nice and it's not too expensive at 4,000 short teeth. A Coast Guard boat. There's also a new starter pack game pass for joining players. Well, there it is, the lifeboat. The image is a bit pixelated, but it looks really cool. So let's buy it, it's 4,000 teeth. Let's compare its stats to other boats. So here we have a lifeboat and here is a viper boat. Just a little bit better. By the stats, it seems like this is a pretty good boat. And nothing else is new. Here's the game pass, so it's called the Star Pack, and it rewards a Viper Speedboat, a Machine Gun, which is just a Thompson, the Hammerhead Shark, and 1,500 teeth total. And it's apparently 50% off. Ooh, here it is, the Lifeboat, aka the Coast Guard Boat. So let's check it out. Alright, so here it is, we have a Star by 2 logo here, and I guess a yellow and a red stripe here. We have this light here, that's really nice. 202 tanks, also a donut ring, and a lot of seats on the roof as well. So yeah, I mean, it's a really cool boat. Right, let's see its top speed. So, the acceleration is decent and it tops out at 125. Okay, the handling is so nice, wow. So smooth and responsive, I love it. Oh wow, it's not a default horn, listen to this. 125 for 4000 is not too bad, I think. However, the hovercraft is 3500 and the top speed is 130, I think. And you can place like custom stuff on it, but for the normal boats, this is pretty nice. I don't think I'd get this as like a grinding boat, but it's a really fun boat, just generally speaking. The handling is really good. Right, let's just shoot the shark, and it's actually really responsive. Look at this. So, apparently, this boat is based on a UK lifeboat. And the final update that happened in this year is the Halloween update. So it's actually the game's first Halloween update. We got a lot of new stuff like the Goblin Shark, a new game mode, a ball builder submarine, a pumpkin launcher and also a coffin boat from Shrabite 1. As well as a rethemed map of course. My god, okay. This is a huge update. Let's just start from the beginning. Coffin boat, which is a limited item. Goblin Shark. Yes, a goblin shark. 
A new shark cage game mode. That's really exciting. A new board builder submarine. Yes, a board builder submarine. Awesome pumpkin launcher. This is such a huge update. Oh my god, there's like a witch. There's multiple witches flying around on a broomstick. That's so cool. Skeletons everywhere and yo, the bubbles are green. The portal is now orange. Well, I mean, this lobby is so cool. I wanna see it from the outside. Wow. I mean, this is beautiful. Orange trees and everything. Even the grass is orange. There's also lightning. Well, let's check out the shop. Here is a coffin bot from Sharbite One. Let's go to the feature tab and oh my god. Oh my god. That's ugly in a beautiful way. That is crazy. And then the pumpkin launcher. I'm speechless. This is actually a huge update. Let's check out the submarine. So, here it is 19,000 teeth. Okay, yeah, it is pretty slow, but I mean, it handles like a champ. Wow. What is that horn? That's crazy, okay. I love this boat, so it's 725 teeth, I think, yeah. So it's pretty cheap, make sure to get it because it's a limited item. And yeah, it's really nice. Let me actually get the pumpkin launcher. There we go. Here is the new shark cage drop boat. Alright, I'm actually really curious to see what this is. So I think this is like the raft or like the old rig, but you spawn underwater in the shark cage. Well, let's see. Um, yeah, kind of. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of confused, I'm gonna be honest with you. But here is the launcher. And yo, the fire effects are so cool. Does it like drop it manually or something? Who's placing all of those mines? Okay, here is the shark. So this is a launcher. Whoa, that, that, that's fast. It shoots really fast. And I cannot use it underwater. That's a shame. Alright, so I need to get out somehow. Please. Okay. Well, what now? I'm kind of confused on how this works. And I don't see the shark. Yo, that thing shoots so quickly. W look at this. Oh, so it's like an actual launcher. Like the coconut launcher. Well, I mean, that's crazy. I think the DPS is crazy, but it's gonna be really hard to hit the shark. Well, it, I mean, it doesn't really work underwater, once again. Yeah, I don't know about this gun. I mean, it looks really cool. But I still haven't hit the shark. Because it's underwater. Oh my god, that thing is crazy. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I, I never expected a goblin shark in this game, I'm gonna be honest. But I mean, it happened, so that's cool. During daytime, this thing looks weird, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we almost no. Well, this is gonna be a rip, I think. I mean, the animation is so cool, though. It's like such a weird shark. I don't actually know if it's this big IRL or not, but it's actually like so funny. <laughs> I mean, the boost animation is also kind of funny, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna try to kill this destroyer, but I don't think it's happening. I never actually tested the pumpkin launcher, so let's do it right now. Yo, that was quick. <laughs> that was so cool. I haven't actually shown it to you guys, so... There's like this glass part with pumpkins. And then there's fire here, which is really nice. And so it's based off the rocket launcher, like the model. It looks nice. I like the color scheme. Also, there's a sign there, so let's just go check it out. Totally a normal sign. Nothing will happen if I stand here. So it says no parking. I'm gonna park here anyways. Let's see what happens. I'm just gonna- Oh my god, did you see that? So now my boat is on fire. What? what? Why is that part red now? <laughs> Wait, is it gonna destroy my engine or something? Now this is a wildfire. <laughs> this is so funny actually. I really like this, so I remember these assets from the 2021 Halloween update. Here is the Odyssey Submarine. First off, I wanna put a paint. I think I'm gonna do Astra because I kind of like how that looks. Actually, I'm gonna do this white Snow Hex skin. I think it looks nice on the sub. 
I can always change it. And I didn't actually look how many thirds you can place on this, so let's quickly check it out. One small and one medium. Alright, that's not too bad. So I'm gonna put my favorite medium turret. Like, I don't know, I guess here? I'm not sure how this works, but there we go. We can also place a small one, but I'm gonna do the double turret. We can place stuff here. Well, you already know what I'm placing here, right? Okay, that's kind of funny, actually. Okay, I wanna see the inside. So, okay, this is the driver's seat. Let me just do this. Here's the driver's seat, right? And you can just place anything you want in this green area inside of the boat. And wait, there's a ladder here. That's cool. I'm just gonna place some general stuff, so give me a second. Wait, you can actually put the toilet beam on the submarine. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, let's not forget the golden toilet. Not the RGB toilet because I hate it. I don't know, I'm just gonna place it here in the corner. Because why not? You gotta get a privacy, right? Yeah, so I think this is it for now. Here is the interior. Oh wow, this looks really nice. Let's check it out in a round. And oh my god. It's like... That's so sick. So, I mean, it's decently fast. It's basically as fast as the military submarine, I think. This is 120, the other one's 125. That's really nice. The handling is so smooth as well. Of course, the same E and Q controls as always. And you can place custom turrets. This is such a cool update. Definitely the, my favorite update of this year. Oh, wait, let me actually explore it. What am I doing? So. Here we have a window, this is so cool. And a lot more windows here, my monkey. And just a bunch of stuff from a kitchen. An arcade machine, a golden egg, and a bunch of fridges. And a golden toilet which I cannot access sadly. Well, I can. I can actually. <laughs> also in this update, apparently they buffed the Megalodon. And so apparently it's easier to eat people now. So let's check it out. Oh wait. I completely missed this coffin boat. <laughs> it's so small. There's so many of them as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's actually way easier to eat people now, I think, with the Meg. So I think this shark is actually worth it now, maybe. Right, come here, ducky. Okay, this Meg is too fast for this kind of stuff. I changed its color and I think it looks better. And oh, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I do love it though, we finally have a new board builder hull. This is so cool. I love this boat. But yeah, I think that's basically it and I hope I didn't miss anything, but in short, the goblin shark looks crazy and it's pretty good but you might as well go for the macro. The pumpkin launcher needs more testing, but I'm not a big fan of launchers so this one is a skip for me. The coffin boat, it's cheap, it's kind of slow, it doesn't work really well backwards, but it's a limited boat and it's from Sharpite 1 and I always liked this boat in the first game. And the submarine is cool, it's actually 6000 cheaper than the military submarine. So I guess if you want the best submarine, go for the military one. However, this one is really fun and you can place two turrets on it and also decorate the inside. Oh, also the bonus round is pretty cool, but I think it's gonna get boring quite quickly. That's it. So in this year, we got 17 new boats, 1 board builder hull, 6 new sharks, 50 shark skins, 2 game passes, 40 new assets, 12 boat skins, 5 new turrets. In total, 133 new items, out of which 43 are off sale. I also want to mention that there were numerous other bug fixes, small changes, exploit fixes, but these are the main updates. And yeah, happy one year anniversary, Sharpie 2.